very good day to all uh, today we are going to discuss about research methodology the word research is very familiar with everyone and the term methodology means the methods that we follow so rich research methodology uh, implies research and how do we do that the methodology that is followed for research this word research methodology is most popular in social sciences research that is oriented with management researches which helps the development of the economy of any business so it is must for any bba graduate to understand research methodology in its right sense so he are trying to understand research methodology before going to what is research methodology i'm happy to quote rudyard kipling's wording i keep six honest serving men they taught me all i knew their names are what and why and when and how and where and who so who were having these person as their friends that is what why when how where and who what why when and how where and who if we are keeping this honest person with us we will actually get real answers for all the questions that we raise says rudyard kipling this is the base of research also in business then what is research research means finding answers to the questions it is a systematic search for truth what is the fact thorough research will be new and original formation ideas about the world we live in where we are so research is search for knowledge research is being defined as a scientific and systematic search for information on a specific so there are steps in research we need amount of knowledge we need to run with parallelly grow with advancement of technology and we need to be progressive in utilization of applications this will help a quality of life so we involve in research which means basic research if we are searching for knowledge when we are going to find out a particular answer to a specific question then we are in search of knowledge when we are going to apply some technology along with finding the answer then that is termed as applied research when we are utilizing the application we are applying the applications as well as the knowledge then it is application development any research process involves the search for amount of knowledge advancement of technology utility of application which will ultimately give the result of quality of life so there will be funding actually there will be curiosity actually combined with the job of research to understand research better let us have three examples over here which are directly referred as research work if samad prepared a paper on computer usage in secondary schools after reviewing literature on the subject available in his university library then it is research samad's effort is to know about the volume of usage of computer in secondary schools and say for the next example manoj says that 
he has researched and completed a document which gives information about the age of students, their results, their parents' income and distance of their schools from the district office. The word which is much popular in research is profile of the respondent. Here we have such an example where we are going for look for a document which will give the answers for the age of the students, their results, their parents income and the distance of their school from their own office. If Manoj is going to do uh, research on this, he will be able to identify the issues, challenges or merits and demerits of the particular study. And more example, Kim participated in a workshop on curriculum development and prepared what he calls a report on the curriculum for engineers. After participation, he is able to give a report for engineers what will be the curriculum which will be useful for it. So research base pays ways for many solutions. A person he is looking forward for the knowledge then he is going to apply technology and the application of technology will give him advancement in the quality of life. Let us consider some more examples to understand it very better as a manager from an organization. A general manager of a car producing company was concerned with the complaints received from the car users that the car they produce have some problems with sound at the dashboard and the rear passenger seat after few thousand kilometers of driving. So uh, there is a problem identified. There is continuous complaint from the car users stating that there is a sound in the dashboard and re the rear passenger seat after few thousand kilometers of driving. So this is the problem identified. Now we can do research on this problem in a systematic and scientific way. First one is he obtained information from the company workers to identify the various factors influencing the problem. What causes the noise? Then he formulated the problem and generated the guesses. He have his own assumption whether the engine, the coordination of the engine or the respondent usage of the car and he will construct a checklist and obtain requisite information from a representative using the car. He analyzed the data, interpreted the result in the light of his hypothesis and reached conclusion. So this example exactly refers to your business environment, how a manager has to approach research for the improvement of the quality of life in his business atmosphere. So it is must to identify the problem, then the causes of the problem, then his own assumptions, collect the data sufficient, analyze them, and conclude with some useful suggestion to overcome the problem. So, again, let us make ourselves sure about what is research. Research is systematic because it follows certain steps that are logical in order. Understanding the nature of the problem to be studied and identifying the related area of knowledge. Reviewing literature to understand how others have approached or dealt with the problem that is existing. Collecting data in an organized and controlled manner so as to arrive at valid decisions. Analyzing data appropriate to the problem and drawing conclusions and making generalizations. All these five steps are must. One should follow to make a research work meaningful. So, Redmond and Mori has defined it as systematic effort to gain new knowledge. 
and organized scientific investigations to solve problems, test hypotheses, develop or invent new products. So we are trying to solve the existing problem or improve the existing system or we are going to invent a new product or service or new methodology to handle the situation. It all refers to research. So the types of research questions and results makes it meaningful. What's out there? What does it look like? How does it work? How well does a method solve a problem? Why does something happen the way it happens? And there are some predictive models also. What would happen if? So uh, like Rudward Kipling said, the honest six months. What, why, when, how, all this can be applied in a business situation also to make the research more useful and meaningful. So, let us see to the criteria of a good research. Purpose must be clearly defined. Research process needs to be detailed. Research design thoroughly planned. High ethical standards applied. Limitation has to be frankly revealed. Adequate analysis for decision makers need. Findings presented clearly and conclusions has to be justified. Again, the researchers origin experience have to be reflected. What are the problems in research? There are few variables which are not controllable. We need to accept them. And human tendencies, when we collect data, their responses, how genuine are they, we won't be able to find it out. And the time and money involved sometimes will be a great expenditure to carry out the research and lack of computerization, insufficient interaction between university research department and business establishment. It is industry and institutional linkage that has to happen in seamless way to come out a conclusive in any research work and lack of confidence on the part of the business units to give information so how would we overcome this is through a uh, set of research process which is predetermined and formulated properly so the first thing the step one is define research problem when we are able to define research problem automatically we need to do the most important part the second step that is all about review of literature. We need to understand the concept and the theory what we are going to study. Maybe the core area of marketing, finance or HR. Whatever it may be, there will be the application of concept and theories. Along with this theories and concepts, parallelly we need to go through the previous research findings with related to the same kind of problem and then the step three is all about framing out the assumptions that is called this formulation of hypothesis when we are able to make the assumptions in various angles after thorough literature then we'll be able to design about our research here we need to understand about the word sample, the methods of collecting the data. In that specific methodology that we are going to follow, justification of the sample and the time period of the study. All these have to be designed in the area of research design. And once we start collecting, applying the design that has been formulated, then we have to take the support of analysis of the data collected maybe through SPSS 
and we need to find out the answers that are given for the assumptions that is made. Our direction should be like that. We have identified a research problem. So we know what is our objective, what are we going to try to finding out. In trying to find out the exact objective, we are turning into it as hypothesis. With regard to hypothesis, we are designing the research methodology and we analyze the collected data. And finally, we need to interpret and report what our study tells about. Here, everything has to be followed with the word feedback and feed forward. So research problem that does it has the exact report and interpretation. Thus, the research design has the proper feedback along with analysis of data and data collection. And the whole process has to be checked in line with the feedback and feed forward also to make the research process a much useful one. So, at the end of this, we know after doing all this process, we will have a title, an introduction, statement of the problem, review of literature, objectives of the study, hypothesis for the study, research design and methodology, conceptual framework, report writing and implications of the study, financial assistance required for the study, conclusion and the bibliography that we have referred.